my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Olivia and I'm going to be going through my updated skincare routine today. It's changed since the last time I made a video on all of the skincare and makeup that influencers made me buy or influenced me to buy. I think I made that video maybe four or five months ago and my skincare routine I think has not drastically changed. I have uh, repurchased some things which is awesome that I love them so much that I would rebuy them and I'll talk to you guys about those particular products today but I also go down rabbit holes of skincare videos and articles and all that stuff all the time um, obsessing over skincare and makeup and what's going to be right for my skin and healing my skin and um, targeting all the issues that I have and want to correct and um, these are all the products that I bought recently. So this is just going to be all about my updated skincare routine, including all of the things that I just bought in my huge Sephora purchase and some things that I have repurchased because I love them so much. Um, it won't be a huge repeat from the last video. I think there's quite a lot of new things. That's why I decided to make this video because I feel like it's worth it. Um, to talk about the new things that I've bought and have been using consistently and loving and I wanted to share them with you guys today. So like last time, I don't have any makeup on. I'm here to just show you a blank canvas of my skincare and sunscreen. Uh, no tint in the sunscreen today, just um, a plain mineral sheer sunscreen um, that I applied this morning. So this is the face. Um, so this is what my face looks like with no makeup. I, uh, don't like coming on camera without makeup, but I feel like it's a great, um, way to show you how my face looks, um, with just skincare and kind of an updated look at what my skin looks like a couple months on using the products I used back in the other video and the products I've been loving now. And also as a record for the future to see how my skin progresses over the next couple of months to years. So that that'd be great to show you guys um, without any makeup today. So the first thing I want to show you guys from my recent Sephora purchase are these exfoliating pads from uh, Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, I think I'm saying that right. That's who it is. Yeah, Dr. Dennis Gross um, Extra Strength Daily Peel. So these are what this is what the package looks like. You have a first step and a second step. First you exfoliate and then you smooth um, and you kind of cleanse, not cleanse, but like relax and calm your skin after you've um, drastically like used all the acids and peels and things that are in there. First you use the acids that are in here and then you use the anti-aging like smoothing, cooling, like relaxation cloth on the other side. But I got this extra huge value pack from Sephora instead of just um, like their mini size or their normal size. But I did decide to get the value pack because A, I know that it doesn't cause my skin too much damage or harm because I've used them before. I got a mini pack uh, like a year ago in another purchase. I don't know why. It was probably like a trial size or a, just a sample and they were fine but um, I didn't really notice an instant um, any instant change but I also didn't see any damage so I knew that my skin could handle these hard acids and things like that. It's got AHAs and BHAs in here to exfoliate and peel. Not like peel off your skin but it's called a peel because it's quite strong and I got the extra strength version um because I'm a, I'm kind of impatient when it comes to skincare um I know that I should be cautious and I am as much as I can but I'm also really impatient where I want to see results fast if possible um unless it causes damage then I'll immediately stop the treatment or the new product that I add to my routine but for the most part my skin can handle a lot and I know what I can and can't handle and what it does with most with most treatments and products and um, ingredients and stuff. So I did get the extra pack because in my head, 
I figured out how much it would cost to get 30 I really like it and then a month later I buy another 30 you know because I use them at night one one set of two a night or one pack a night uh, for 30 days and then I'm like well if I do that I'll be spending like $30 but if I get this extra value pack for 60 days because there's 60 pads in here for two months I'll actually save um, by getting more you know what I mean I'll save like $30 $25 or $30 instead of buying two packs of 30 if that makes sense that's my rationale that's how I rationalize buying this huge pack um, that that's that so like I said I do this every night um, as my first step of my skincare routine after my cleanser or after my uh, cleansing balm oil and cleanser so for cleansing I'm still using the La Roche Posay hydrating cleanser that hasn't changed and I've repurchased it from Target many times since that video since that last video um, it's $15 relatively inexpensive and works well for my dry skin um, last time I was using the Glow Recipe Papaya Cleansing Balm. I don't know if that was in the last video, I can't remember, but um, that's what I was using for a while. Oh no, I was using the Biosense Oil, and then I did then I did Glow Recipe, not featured in any, in any video, just on my Instagram. And I used all that up, it was great, no problems whatsoever, loved it, um, but nothing groundbreaking, just another uh, cleansing balm, cleansing oil. Same goes for the Biosense. Um, both fine. To, both took my makeup off fine um, and easy and quick and no residue, no oily residue for both of them. Um, didn't have to over scrub with both of them. I'd say it's just your preference on whether you want a liquidy oil from Biosense or um, one that you have to scrape out of the tub, which is the Glow Recipe one. The Glow Recipe smelled great, it was papaya, it, um, like I said, didn't leave a residue or anything, um, came off very quickly and easily, um, but I thought I'd change it up uh, in my next purchase and my next order from Sephora. So I got this Belief Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm um, because I'm also using the Belief Aqua Balm Gel Moisturizer for dry skin. Really I think it's for dry skin. It's like practically a water and I really really like it so far. I've used it for about a week or so now. Um, it is actually a lot thinner feeling than the other cleansing balms and oils that I used before. Um, meaning it breaks down to almost like an oil um, even though it's a even though it's a bomb inside, like a thicker bomb that you scrape out. So I'll open it up. It is this um, harder bomb inside that you have to scrape out with the little spatula that it comes with. But I just find that it turns automatically to like a watery oil or like a, or not watery, but like very, very smooth, um, thinner texture, even though it's thicker consistency. It even though it's a thicker consistency in the tub, it turns really oily and really liquidy and um, watery fast, which I don't mind and I love, and it definitely gets all my makeup off and sunscreen, and it's been working really well, and it's great for dry skin like I have, so I love that. So my next step, both of those were at night. I have not even started what would be my morning routine. My morning routine is just the La Roche Posay hydrating cleanser um, at night. It's that with the Aqua Balm cleansing balm. And then I go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tight Facial. This is actually my second purchase of this product. It is really nice feeling on the skin. It doesn't burn or itch or anything like that. You only need to leave it on for about five or ten minutes. It leaves your skin feeling really soft and hydrated because of the hyaluronic 
acid that's in here, but it also will, like, it's supposedly supposed to tighten your pores. I don't know if pores actually change size. I've heard varying mixed things from uh, skincare gurus and influencers. I'm not sure if your pore size can actually change, but it does clean them out um, because this is a uh, chemical exfoliant with all of the acids that are in here, but also a physical because it has tiny little beads in there as well that will physically exfoliate your skin when you wash it off but it never dries it never gets dry or cakey like any other clay mask i've ever used um it stays really really wet on the skin and so nourishing uh throughout the entire time and after that i use it i love it that's again at night every night it's super gentle that you can use it every night but you can save it for special occasions too now all of that is just at night but in the morning I will just go in with the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Cleanser and then I will go in with my serums and treatments and things like that. I've been doing so much research lately um, online uh, through articles, reading articles that talk to dermatologists and doctors and a bunch of influencers online um, watching their videos and trying to get a sense of what order I should be doing my skincare in and I have not come to any conclusion unfortunately I've not found one definitive you know order or steps or chronological order of how you should do your skincare in when how much what order because it's so varying like there are some hard and fast rules but then again one article will say another thing one beauty influencer will say another and it's just so confusing like when do I use my retinol when do I use my uh, serums and toner like you know some things are always going to be that way but like cleanse and then tone and then whatever but as for the steps in between it's so confusing or, or like SPF is always last so that's something that's consistent there but then sometimes I just don't know when to do all the other bits so um, I'm just kind of making it up as I go along and doing my best to um, read articles and stay informed and try and do my best with all my products and I'm just hoping it pays off and I see the results and all that so um, don't take my word for it or do it in the order that I do it this is just what I've learned to do and I can share with you why I do what I do so um, the next thing that I use in my skincare routine after cleansing with a cleanser and uh, an oil at night and the clay mask at night is the toner or actually at night it's going to be actually at night it's going to be the the exfoliating pads and stuff because you have to wipe them over your skin if i did that after my skincare routine i would just be wiping all the the products off so i do that and then try to follow along but in the morning this is where it differs i don't use the pads and i immediately go into the toner so i do pads toner or in the morning it's cleanser and then toner right after so um, I have it in this bottle, but it's the um, Glow Recipe PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. And I'll put a picture of it on the screen now of what the actual bottle looks like. But I decided to dispense it in this um, spray bottle because I found that with the um, actual component that it comes in, uh, I would be putting it on the um, reusable washable pads that I have from Paula's Choice and I heard a lot that that like wastes a lot of product so I don't want to be wasting the product that I'm paying for and having it all just soak up into these go in the wash and it all just gets wasted so I stopped putting it on these pads but for me in my limited range of motion due to my disability um, I find it really hard to um, dispense the product in my hand because it doesn't like go flat and put it on my face like you see other skin influencers do um, it will just like fall out of my hand if I try to do that or like drip off my hand I should say if I were to try and do that and um, it's too liquidy to put on the back of my hand because again that will just fall off so I thought 
the third best option or the best option out of all those. What if I turned it into a spray? That's why I do that. And maybe if you have um, a similar disability to mine and you find that uh, most ways of putting your toner on is wasting a lot of product or any other serums that you find you waste a lot, maybe try putting in a spray bottle um, and just targeting the areas that you need and waste less. So that's great. The next step is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Again, uh, a second purchase of this. I don't think it was in my last um, skin routine update, um, but I've definitely repurchased this. Um, it makes your skin super glowy. You can put it on in your serum treatment step of your skincare routine morning and night. and Or, you know, there are multiple ways to use it as after as well. You use it um, just before your makeup to make it add like a primer and make it, you know, yourself glow in certain areas. Put it on after your makeup as a highlighter. I've never done that stuff. I've never, you know, paired it with my makeup because I have so many other glowy, shiny products. But I love it uh, morning and night and it really makes my skin glow. The niacinamide also helps with uh, pores and redness. So that's again why I use it. I've seen a difference. It's slow and steady rates, but I have seen a difference. I don't know if it's exactly because of this, but I definitely find myself a little more glowy. So I love that. Um, another one, another glow recipe product because I'm obsessed with glow recipe and I really love most of what they uh, put out and I just get the things that I need um, for my skin type and I go from there and I've loved everything that I've used and, and repurchased things as well. Um, this might have been a repurchase too, but I'm slowing down on, on when and how I use it. Um, this is the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. Great for redness and uh, reducing inflammation um, and reducing redness and dryness um, with all its ceramides and peptides and antioxidants and stuff. When I got my first bottle a couple months ago, um, I was using this both morning and night, but I had so many other treatments and moisturizers and things at night that I didn't, I kind of felt like it got lost and there was no real benefit. I'd rather do this just in the day, save it, and I use it just in the morning and I really feel like it dampens the redness during the day, especially. Um, you can use it at night if you feel like it would work for you if you don't have a massive skincare routine at night and whatever you can definitely use this twice a day because I think it's really quite gentle and there's no uh, super harsh um, additives I don't think that are gonna really like irritate your skin or at least it hasn't irritated my uh, dry skin so I also have the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. Again, I don't know if this is from the last video as well, but I have this product from Glow Recipe as well, and I love it. Um, it's lasted so, so long, but it's lasted a really long time using it at night. Uh, retinol does wonders, has so many great um, benefits. I feel like this has really made a huge difference in my under eye, um, like, lines and made my makeup be less creasy. Um, it's retinol so it does take a really long time, uh, six months or more for it to really work but I've stuck with it for I would say a good three or four months and I'm hoping that it only gets better but I really loved um, that the avocado has provided hydration but also helped with the lines as well. Something new that I got in the last, in my last Sephora purchase um, is the Tatcha Violet C Brightening Serum. I got a sample of this, a mini, a little mini one in my previous Sephora order um, back in uh, May or June and I tried it and immediately within a couple days saw diminished redness and um, overall like even skin tone when I'm normally not like that. Um, I'm usually red and patchy 
I still get like that. Uh, I don't, you know, it's still possible and my skin is still reactive and stuff when you touch it or in the heat or, you know, with exercise and stuff like that. But just on a normal, like, sitting down, not doing anything, kind of like right now, I feel like it really has evened out my skin tone a lot. So I made a conscious effort to, or I made a conscious decision to purchase it in my next uh, Sephora haul because I really loved the mini and saw great results just from the mini and I got the big one. So I'm super happy about that. Um, I have another touch product to talk about and um, it is kind of expensive so I know that sometimes they can be a little gimmicky and you're just buying like the Tatcha name but this really really works as a vitamin C serum. Now I'm not saying another vitamin C serum won't work just as well. It's apparently um, it's got vitamin C and other things in it, so it's like 20% vitamin C and 10% AHA, so it's an acid as well. A chemical exfoliant acid, um, but I think that actually helps that they're combined, and it really um, gets the work done uh, on your face and is heavy duty. Again, my skin isn't super sensitive, but it's reactive, I know that, but it's not very sensitive. Like, it can handle a lot that's why I can do retinols and acids and stuff every skin type and every skin every person's skin is so different you know um, you have to go super super slow with retinols with serums with acids um, I mean snail slow tortoise slow like really um, and then you'll get a sense of what your skin can handle um, so I know that I can handle retinol every night but people are some people can only do retinol once a week grows, they peel, so be super careful. Um, another thing that I repurchase and will always repurchase is the Murad Invisiscar Scar Treatment for my uh, pockmark indented scars. I talked about it last time in the last video in every skincare video about or makeup video that I'm always trying to hide them, um, but also try to heal them as well so I don't have to take a bunch of makeup on to hide them. Um, so I bought this, nothing new, still a great product, still a work in progress. We are sort of nearly done, just bear with me. This product that I purchased in my last Sephora haul is the new brand um, in partner with the Inky List. Um, it's Selfless by Hiram, it's the Retinol and Rainbow Algae um, Repair Serum by Hiram. He's a skincare influencer on YouTube that I've followed for a while and he just put out his own brand this summer and I have not bought into the hype of every single of buying every single product from him I just got the product that I thought I needed because I didn't want to completely overhaul my skincare routine if I didn't need to or every product in his brand just because it's Hiram like really like calming and soothing it does not make me peel it's not very harsh feeling doesn't burn or do anything bad to my skin personally. Um, again, with retinol, you won't see a difference right away. So I'm just going to consistent, keep consistently using this um, as long as I have it and maybe repurchase it again because I don't, although I don't see an immediate relief, I know that it's working underneath the skin and if it's not harming me, I definitely want to give it a try and like keep going <laughs> um, because it's really not doing any damage to my skin and I'm really hoping that it's healing my um, redness, scars, um, and helping with all my issues. So I am still really quick using the Allies of Skin Peptides Moisturizer that I talked about in my last video. I took a break from using this because I wanted to, I was using so many other moisturizers that this was not um, making a noticeable difference in my skin, but I thought I'd give it another try because it was just sitting there or else it would expire and go to waste and be a waste of money. So I put this back in my skincare routine and it's fine. I'm really hoping that the peptides in here are really gonna do what they say they're gonna do. I don't notice, I, well, I say I don't notice a difference, but I actually do when consistently using this with my other moisturizers and combining them and letting all the um, actives work together. Um, and let both of them be a super exorbitant moisturizer, I actually do see kind of a difference um, in like 
maybe not my problem areas like in the middle um and things like that but I definitely notice oh, yeah I definitely notice a difference like on the sides of my face actually in the places that are like quote normal on my face where it's not excessively dry right now or excessively oily or have a, a great so in the morning I've been using this belief the true cream aqua balm and this is a recent purchase and maybe not the last purchase this recent one in the past week or two but in the past couple months this is a recent purchase and I'm really loving it um, because it's more of a gel moisturizer so it's like more like water on your skin but it's actually doing something it's got like great um, additives in it that it's not just water um, it's like a more it's like a super hydrating gel moisturizer I don't know if you can see inside um, but I really love it um, I love the smell too I don't mind and knowing how much my skin loves this like water type texture that's why I got the Belief Beauty Aqua Balm um, cleansing balm because I know that my skin really likes that like watery hydration or needs it you know what I mean because it is so dry um, and then at night I go for more of a thicker cream which I don't know if I've talked about before but it's the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream and I think a long long time ago I was using the Tatcha Water Cream and don't ask me why but my skin actually really prefers the thicker super thick rich dewy cream over the water cream and I know I just said I my skin prefers the water gel but for some reason I never really got a huge hydration from the water cream I don't know why the water cream almost like evaporated but the water but the aqua balm is like just thick enough that it's like a thick water and this is like super super thick like a lotion but in a very fancy Tupperware um, and it's dewy which I'm all for I love the dew drops this is another dewy product that my skin absolutely drinks up and loves I can't end the video without talking about sunscreen I won't talk your ear off about it like I did last time but this is this is sunscreen that I've settled on since the last time I made that video about being completely unsure about what sunscreen to get. This is the Biosots Whaling Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. So I put the new bottle of about four ounces in this bottle, um, in this spray bottle that I got from Amazon, similar to the toner bottle, because I just thought it would be an easier application for me, um, because I definitely wanted to stick to that sheer mineral formulation that I love so much. Um, because it shears out gray on my skin and leaves no white residue at all. No pilling, no anything, no greasiness throughout the day. Sinks in to my skin lovely and works well with all my other skincare. Um, so that's why I repurchased it. But I also wanted to have it in a spray bottle. So I bought this one that I saw other influencers use for other things on Amazon. But I, every single day, will put this on. Um, hands down, will never skip. Um, doing that again to protect my skin so that is that oh uh super last thing this is like the only kind of splur not splurge but this is like the only thing that I got that maybe doesn't really have much of a particular um, like reason like there's no active re ingredient really in this product I just kind of got it because I wanted to try it. Um, it's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist meant to hydrate and brings glowy radiance. Um, this is a mist um, and I got this mist because I heard from several skin influencers that you should apply your skincare to wet skin and that will help it absorb. I've never heard that before. It's like a relatively new thing to me. Maybe other people know it and I'm just I've always been in the dark, I don't know, but um, I was like, okay, so my skin should be wet when I apply my each skincare layer, but for me, when I do my skincare, I'm so slow in everything that I do, I don't know why, but I'm slow getting ready in the morning, I'm slow getting dressed, I'm slow doing my skincare, taking my medicines, and etc. So everything takes like a million hours, and because of that, 
um, I'll do a step in my skincare routine, but by the time I get to the next one or the next one, my skin will dry quite significantly with the other layer of skincare on before. So I thought, why don't I get a mist that's not just water, which by the way, you do not have to invest however much this was, this tiny mist, you know, into a mist. Like you don't have to invest any money at all. You can get a spray bottle of water. Like they're not, no one's ever saying like get a, a you know, get a mist with all these actives in it or things like that. Just spray water, like dip water or you know, put water in your face. Like, that'll be enough. I decided to go the extra mile for no pair, for no good reason, just because I wanted to, and get this hyaluronic mist, because I thought, if I'm going to be putting stuff on my face to wet my face, I might as well have it do something for me, if that makes sense. I might as well have it be helping my skin. Not that water doesn't help your skin, water's fine, but I thought, if I'm going to get a mist, Maybe have it do something, and that's my excuse. That's my only excuse for getting this friggin', you know, glow recipe fine mist. But I'm so glad I did and I splurged because it is such a fine, fine mist, and it's what I hoped those bottles would do, which they do not at all. It literally is the most misty of misty things. I thought of this example the other day, but I don't want this to, this to deter you from getting it. But it's so fine and it's like a mist that you would feel from the vegetable produce um, aisle in a grocery store. You know how they like mist the produce um, to keep it wet and hydrated and not dry out and mold and stuff? Like it's like that. Or going on a water ride at a theme park and they have like misters and stuff to make you feel like you're in water. I don't know how to explain it but... I swear to you, I'm in love with this, and you just like spritz yourself, you know, like halfway through the day, and you feel incredible. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god, it's so light and wonderful. It does not like squirt one long spit at you. It like literally just like aerates and falls gently on your skin. It feels so luxury. You do not need this, but maybe you do. I don't know. I love it. I love it, I love it. It's the best, like, I don't need this, but I need this kind of purchase. Um, so I'm obsessed. I love this and so glad I splurged on that. I really hope you stuck it out through this really long rambly video and that I was able to condense it enough for you to um, enjoy it and get something from this video, I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, that's my updated skincare routine both morning and night. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, comment down below or go uh, find me on Instagram and I'm happy to chat more about skincare. I love this stuff so much. But that does not mean I know every single thing about every piece of makeup or skincare or active or ingredient or anything like that. I do my best to learn what works for my skin, uh, retain that knowledge for me and what that's going to do for my skin and uh, eat, you know, research each individual product and how that's going to work for me, but I don't claim to be an expert at all. Um, like I said, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe for more videos on skincare, makeup, disability, chronic illness friendly content, and I'll try to post more often here. I also post a lot on my Instagram, link down below or on the screen here, and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Love you. Bye.